On top of the first flurries of the fall season, we saw record setting temperatures this afternoon. We were 20 degrees below average, which put us at a high of 42. The previous record 20 years ago on this date at 44 degrees. So the chilly air giving us a preview of what's ahead for late November. Also now record setting thanks to that coldest high temperature on this date. We do have 30 degree warm, uh, warmer weather coming later this week though. So we're going to be talking a rise from the 40s to the 70s over the next six days or so. So uh, we do have much more like September weather just around the corner to warm us up after not only the chilly temperatures that we had today, but also the flakes that we're in the air a little ahead of schedule. Usually we see those first flurries around Halloween, uh, but it's not unheard of to see a little snow action into the middle of October. Generally, we don't pick up any, anything measurable, so that's that first uh, dusting or more of snow until late November, and it's early December where we generally see that first one inch plus kind of event. So got a little ways to go before we really start to see that snow pile up. Tonight, one of our coldest nights in six months, 27 for the low as the sky slowly clears out. Those northwest winds continue to gust, so that's going to provide some harsh wind chills in the morning. And like I mentioned, it's the first time in six months that we've seen the weather this cold. It was way back in April that we had highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s, so uh, it's been a while since we felt this chill. 45 for tomorrow afternoon under a partly cloudy sky, so not much warmer than today. I think we will be just above record territory, so not necessarily getting into the temperatures that we saw today. Those northwest winds gusting up to times uh, 30, 35 miles per hour are going to keep the wind chills on uh, slightly more harsher levels, uh, at least early tomorrow morning, hovering around 20 early in the day, but then back into the upper 30s like we felt this afternoon. And the added sunshine will help. We'll have a few passing clouds, but that sunny weather will help warm us up a little bit more compared to what we had at times earlier on this afternoon. So some slight improvements there. Bigger improvements come later this week, so we're stuck under a very cold pattern now, but within the coming days, you can see how the upper level jet stream just completely switches. So now we're looking at southerly winds just blowing in a ton of warm air. We're talking 60s to 70s by the time we get to Saturday, and it's the west coast that will be feeling the chill for several days in a row. So quite the turnaround around the corner. You can see that reflected in our seven day forecast. Next two days in the 40s with lows below freezing within 50 on Thursday, 60s on Friday, and we ultimately land into the 70s once we get into the weekend under a bright sunny sky. In fact, at Saturday night and Sunday night, the overnight temperatures will be warmer than what we'll see the past couple days. So again, just remarkable turnaround as we get into the weekend. Next week, a little rain with a chance uh, with temperatures down into the 60s and in your most accurate 10 day forecast, the weather does slowly cool back off again. We get back to more, I guess, late October like weather with temperatures in the 50s, uh, but still we're not diving all the way back down to the 40s like we saw as of today. And then on our four degree guarantee forecasted the 30s hit the 40s, but still on the dartboard. You're looking at a cash total rapidly approaching $250, William and Brittany. All right, that jackpot still growing, Alex. Thanks.